All right, I love a problem like this. This is a problem that you don't have to do a calculation. It's all about intuition. And if you know the intuition, you'll get it right. At the time of issuance of a 4.5% coupon bond, the effective interest rate was 5%. The bonds were most likely issued at par, discount, or premium. If you know how bonds have been calculated and how they're done, this is one that you can solve fairly quickly and not waste any time. You know it's not par right? Because at par, these rates would have to be the same and they're not the same. All right. So it was 5%, 5%, you know, it's par, it's not. So 4.5% coupon bonds, that percentage is lower than the interest rate here of 5%. So as a result, investors are not going to just say, oh, well, you can just pay us less, even though we were, we would need 5% or as risky of a firm, they're going to say, no way. We're not going to pay as much for the 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 4.5 percent coupon bonds and so as a result instead of it being issued at par or at a premium it's going to be issued at a discount the correct answer is b a discount and the reason why is you just think about it the rate that it's paying is lower than what the market has and as a result it's going to investors aren't going to pay a full price they're going to want a haircut on that to make up the difference so that they are getting that 5% rate. That's where it comes in.